As a child, I used to walk around the streets of uh, Bradford, um, Shipley, and other areas in, within Yorkshire, and look around at the uh, the old buildings. And I used to think probably a little bit differently to uh, sort of kids of my age, um, thinking about the past and the people that have built them, you know, and going serving nearly uh, 40 years in the building industry. Um, it sort of reflects in, in what I paint, hopefully. I maybe see the world a little bit differently to a lot of people because I'm always looking out for different things, different things I can put in the paintings, um, which reflect more than life. A little bit like that OXO sign there. The washing line theme, um, uh, it's just a, a thing that I've started painting within uh, the portraits of stadiums from the outside because it's a real part of northern life uh, you, know, you, you walk to stadiums and you see um, ladies or gentlemen hanging the washing out um, and this is why I've, I've, I've decided to reflect this within this piece um, the, the old Halifax shirts which you know you, you look back at the um, the different shades the shapes the you know the different uh, designs of hoops uh, going down, you know, down in history within the club, and also the, the fantastic players that have worn them uh, in front of this uh, magnificent shed style structure here behind the goalpost, which I love, obviously because it fell away with the slope as well. I've managed to get that feel. Within the paintings, I always like to go back to my childhood um, and reflect within. Uh, small boys or even the, you know the old gentleman there walking away from the ground uh, it's a real you know throwback to my childhood when I used to look up at the floodlights walking to stadiums and all albeit from all was um, smaller in nature to the you know floodlights that we had at other stadiums I was you know on a night game they would have a, uh, the same impact uh, and the, this is why I've, I've decided to call this piece my backyard because um, from all I'd uh, a lot of tourist houses on this side looking towards the old stadium and uh, the backyards people you know they, they lived and breathed this uh, this area for many decades and also you know supported the club so within this kid's backyard um, you know it's reflecting my childhood in a way where we used to try and make goal posts um, for football or, or rugby you know and um, you know I've managed to incorporate these within the picture which is uh, a throwback to the past and a um, a rugby theme. Another thing I've loved including in this portrait is the old tin bath there with the, the shirt and the pair of socks coming over the, over the top there. Um, and the old middens as well, you know, we all had the outside toilet but we called them middens. And the, the flash of light coming through from the streets beyond, um, that's just like, a, you know, the street lamps throwing a bit of light. And on the pavement here, you know, the backyard cobbles, or, you know, paving, Yorkshire paving stones, this is the light that's reflected from the house. So a little tinge of uh, yellow thrown in there, uh, just to give it a little bit more colour. It's also reflecting on the old, um, the old turnstiles there. So I hope you like what you see, people. Um, a lot of thought has gone into this portrait. Um, and it's on sale now at uh, www.stadiumportraits.com so if you'd like a print uh, please feel free to uh, to get this on your walls um, obviously the original painting is also up for grabs which is what you're looking at now so um, this you know is on sale for anyone and we will talk about you know, a monthly payment scheme if it's uh, if it suits your budgets okay thanks people and I hope you have a cracking season and um, you know I hope this piece reflects you know, looking at from all from a slightly different angle to what you've probably seen before but something that really sort of gets your emotions turning and that's um, that's what I aim to do thanks for listening